Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure. I've got a new light bar that mounts right under the grill, right here. And we'll replace this, or maybe I'll leave it, I don't know. It's kind of nice to have. Um, but this light bar mounts under the grill here, and it's made by Z Roads. And while it took a while to get in, it is very well made. It is powder coated really nice. It looks really great. It has several mounting points. So it, not only does it look good, but it is strong. So uh, let's go ahead and put it on. So here's the bumper. And the light bar. Here's the inside. These pieces go between the grill and the lower part of your bumper. You know, the black plastic piece. It's sandwiched in there. Bolts, several bolts to bolt it down. This area here is where you bolt your LED light pods. It's a really nice powder coating. Let me show you the view of the back of it. This is what it looks like. nice let's put this on it also comes with these two brackets that mount it these are also powder coated and really thick steel you can see see there hardware zip ties this is uh, something you put on the light bar to uh, protect it from uh, scratching any paint or rubbing any rubbing on your uh, grill or anything so we'll install those. So this is great. Got a nice hardware kit here. Let's open that up. Got some zip ties. Lots of nuts and bolts. So let's get to it. One thing I also want to mention are these amazing directions that Z Roads gives you. If you if you look at this, there, everything is written down. All the all the inventory. This is a complete installation guide with crystal clear pictures of the install and step-by-step -step instructions. I mean, you know, I just installed a Rough Country rear bumper and the directions were horrible. They were in black and white. You could hardly see the pictures. Uh, I basically just had to figure it out. But if you look, you know, these these are really good. I mean, this, these directions are amazing and they'll take you through everything. And this, you know, I ordered it. It took a while to come in. It took a little over a month, but that's probably because they were they were making it right, you know, per each order they get in. And you can tell by the quality that they took their time and they did a great job. They obviously stand behind their product. So it, just be patient. Your orders will come in and you'll get these great directions. You know, it doesn't take too long to make some directions like this when you sell a product. I wish other companies would do the same. And then you need to be very careful pulling the grill off. So let's do that. So I don't know if any of y'all have pulled the grill off before, but that's one of the first things you do with this install. So one of the things you need to do is unclick this hatch. There's a little plug right here for your TSS sensor in the grill. You undo that. Then you've got a couple of these little, I believe they're 10 millimeter bolts and some little push pins. And then you can get the grill off. So let's do that. One push pin. Two push pins, that's all. You always want to clean as you're disassembling so you can, uh, you know, all the parts you're dealing with, you know, clean it up as best as possible. 
you know, it's just going to get dirty again, but that's what you want to do. So we got the grill off. We got the TSS unplugged. Next step, remove the following cover by removing the six flange nuts as indicated below. So let's do that. These are what we're doing. These two right here, these two right here, and these two right here. Okay, I need to install the LED pods on the light bar. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we remove four more factory bolts from the top of the bumper. So we're going to remove those. It's the two on the ends. Okay, now I need to mount the front bumper top assembly. So we have those down. good already. Now we're putting the back brace. You can feed it through. You can see where it attaches right there. It comes out right here. See that? You do that on both sides. Okay, got a few more bolts in. Finally got those brackets. They're pretty easy. You can see down here where they bolt. I had them going to the right, this one going to the left. Just one bolt with a flange nut. You can see under there where they come out. They're on there real tight. Next step. Hook up the LED pods and reassemble. So the good thing about having a Garmin power switch is I can just come over here and test out my lights. Looks like they're working fine and I have them at 50% dim so they're not too bright bothering people. Pretty cool. They work. Let's zip tie those up. Got it all zip tied. Back in here, got a little slack in case I need to move them. God, that's strong. I don't know what kind of hit it would take from another car, but it's pretty strong. I put that piece back on with the six flange nuts. Then you put the grill back in. You need to put something between the pod and your grill when reinstalling the grill, or you will scratch it pretty bad. Pods just dug into that paint. And yes, that really bothers me. Hmm. Okay, so there's a tip right there. When you go to reinstall your grill, make sure you have a like a I don't know, microfiber cloth or something on each one of these pods or a piece of plastic, maybe a plastic bag or something, and that'll keep you from scratching the grill. <sighs> well, seems to be the only hiccup that I ran into installing this. And make sure you plug up your, your little sensor here. The TSS. Just like that. It's a little hard to get undone. But once you, once you get it unclipped, it pops right out. So there you go. So make sure you do that. And yes, I put this little piece of red tape on here. 
Then the hatch, the little hatch on your grill. All right, guys, I got that thing installed. It is the Z Rhodes light bar for the Tundra. I did not get LED pods with it. I already had some, so I just got the, the light bar by itself. It installed really easy. Um, getting the grill off is always uh, tough sometimes. Other than that, reinstalling the grill, uh, if, you, if you mount your LED pods first, which they say in the directions, um, you can scratch your grill. So make sure and cover those pods with like a microfiber cloth or a plastic bag or something like that. That's the only thing, it's really sturdy. It has, you know, uh, let's see, uh, four mounting bolts up top that are welded to the actual light bar, and then two brackets that mount through the lower grill area um, that mount with like three bolts. So it's really strong and heavy duty. The quality's there, um, uh, you know, I, w I was kind of surprised, uh, but the uh, powder coating and the quality is definitely there. It's really strong. You know, it's steel, so, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, it's a light bar. It is not like something to ram into things with, so just, you know, just know that. Anyways, it was a great install. I enjoyed putting it on. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and, uh, you know, and enjoy, um, you know, seeing how it's done. Uh, and that's all I got today. I've got more Tundra stuff coming, so... Uh, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. See ya.